right, I've been waiting on my motors and stepper drivers and power supplies for a while. They're finally here and like a kid at Christmas. So, atypical for me, I think I'll do an unboxing, see what's in there. I'm in my basement shop. Kind of cluttered down here. Let's see what's in here. assortment of crushed uh, styrofoam. Jump out. The Hong Li Li high quality computer cable. This is a 1280, IEEE 1284 compliant, so should be wired all the way through. That's for use with this, which I'm uh, Guessing is going to be the breakout board for the parallel port I.O. Pretty standard item. Probably nothing too exciting here. Don't worry about the blade, I'm a professional. It would be really bad to have blood spurting everywhere after saying that. Yeah, that's the parallel port breakout board. Comes wrapped in a plastic bag. Anyway, there that is. Typical uh, inputs, outputs, and connects to the parallel port. We'll set that aside. And I'm guessing these are going to be the the uh, stepper motor drivers. I'll put the specs for all this stuff down in the comment or down in the uh, video description so you can see what I got. For now I'm just taking the quick and dirty look. I'll also put a link to the seller on eBay if I decide to out them. Uh, there we go, it's a DQ860MA. It's a well, typical of a lot of uh, stepper drivers. Just got uh, pulse direction enabled. You can select from the current table, so this one goes anywhere from uh, 2 amps up to 5.6 amps, because I got some pretty beefy 1600 ounce inch stepper motors coming up here and you can do the micro stepping selection down here uh, anywhere from 400 pulses per revolution up to 51,200 which is ridiculous none of that's usable and then uh, takes over again 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 up to 50,000 which is again pretty ridiculous I'll probably stay kind of in the lower range I've got a lot of gearing going on there but anyway let's go ahead and take a look and see yeah everything looks uh, Looks pretty good. Big old honking heat sink on there. Get a lot of cooling going. Looks well made. About what I was expecting. Pretty happy with all that. I assume the other three are going to be just like it, so we'll skip those. Or the other two. I got a three axis system here, so we'll skip, skip the rest of those. Just get them out of the way. Get on to bigger and better things. Power supplies. These are almost certainly your generic imported power supplies. I do like that they wrap them in bubble wrap. I ordered power supply on eBay recently and it was shipped to me from New Jersey to Central Kentucky via the US Postal Service. They just put the sheet metal framed power supply in a plastic bag. I'm not making that up. And it arrived damaged, of course. You could shake it and you could hear big blocks of stuff moving around inside. And there were white plastic chunks falling out of it. So here you got an outer box, some styrofoam, everything wrapped in bubble wrap, and then a thin 
what I would call a gift box, a cardboard box, but not thick corrugated, just your typical fin. But yeah, this is uh, exactly the sort of power supply I was expecting. Just your typical switching power supply. There's even a little bit of styrofoam packed in there, which uh, protects this part. A lot of times they'll have metal fins here. A lot of the ones I've ordered that come from China, these metal tabs are bent in. This doesn't seem to have the tabs, but yeah, nothing damaged there. This is a 60 volt power supply. Again, I got some pretty beefy motors. So 60 volts at 6 amps. Not too shabby. 360 watt power supply there. So again, three of those. One per axis. So this, uh, this kit has three stepper motors three stepper motor drivers, three uh, power supplies for the stepper motor drivers. A lot of times the power supplies will all be one power supply for all the axes, but because uh, these are such beefy motors I guess it was easier just to send you one power supply per axis. And there's the big bad stepper motors, and boy they are pretty beefy. It's uh, about 11 pounds there, I'm thinking. This is all going on my little uh, Grizzly G1006 milling machine. Kind of like a two horsepower. I'm probably going to drop it back to one and a half horsepower three phase so I can put a VFD on the spindle and control the spindle speed. But it's just a little bench top milling machine. This should be pretty, pretty beefy for that. I've seen people driving these things with motors half or even almost a third this size. A little bit of nastiness from the styrofoam, which I hate, but it's nicely protected, which I love. Very nice looking stepper motors, too. So far, my impression is pretty good. Holy crap, that thing has got some holding torque even without the power on it. The cogging on there is. So I think a 13 millimeter shaft, and oh, it's a lot easier to turn that side. That's weird. Oh yeah, maybe it's just that's not too bad. The first time I turned it, it seemed a little harder to turn. Yeah, looks like a nice, nice power supply. Looks like the model number is 86BYGH450C. I'll put all that in the in the description as well down below. So just check down below there. But yeah, you kind of get a feel for the beefiness of that. So I'll be finding somewhere to mount that here later tonight and ordering some metal to make some mounting brackets. But overall, very well packaged. Thumbs up to the guys on eBay for that. And uh, again, I'll if you check down below there. I'll have a, a link to their, if not their website, at least to their eBay auction. Anyway, tune in next time and maybe you'll see some stuff actually moving. Get this thing bolted up here maybe this weekend. Might have some stuff moving by early next week.